Hi, this is Mayor John Hamilton, and I'm here with my friend and colleague, Tim Street. Can you introduce yourself, Tim? Sure. Hello, I'm, I'm Tim Street. I'm the Operations and Development Division Director for Bloomington Parks and Recreation. So we're not in the office today, Tim. We're out no. by uh, Griffey Lake, and uh, we're celebrating. It's 50 years that it's been in the park system. That's right. Uh, and before that, it was a reservoir, I know, for the city. But what's going on today that we're celebrating particularly? Sure. So we're celebrating 50 years uh, of Lake Griffey as a community and recreational resource. Uh, since the 1970s, Bloomington Parks has had a hand in operating Lake Griffey for all of those purposes, uh, whether it's nature, bird watching, hiking, canoeing, all of the different things that have happened here over the years. So we're celebrating that history, but we're also celebrating the completion of um, this improvement, uh, this bicentennial bond improvement that is the accessible fishing pier behind us uh, and the causeway, the accessible path along the causeway uh, that is giving safe access to the trails on both the south side and the north side of the lake. So I remember, I've been out here a lot, I remember it was always a little tricky, people walking along the road trying to get to the trails. Yes. And, and really no access here to the lake for fish, fisher people and you know, those that. So it's really a spectacular new addition um, that, that gives people access in a new way, safely. Okay. That's right, yeah, we, we were never quite comfortable with how people had to walk on the road. Yeah. Uh, people would park here at the Griffey parking lot and walk north up to the north side trails. Uh, and be walking the road, in the road to do it. Right. Um, and so this was, you know, a really unimproved side of the causeway. Uh, it was just some riprap and a few volunteer trees that had come up. Um, and so since the 80s, I, I haven't been here that long, but I know there's been a vision for this walkway since the 1980s. Um, and we're happy to finally make that a reality. Um, well, it's, be it's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, this way, like a 100 acre lake, but 1,200 12 acres that That's the right. park department preserves, mm -hmm. nature preserve. It's a spectacular asset for the city, isn't it? It really is. Um, we're so proud to, to have this as an asset. Um, our natural resources team does a great job looking at science, um, thinking about the best ways to manage this, whether that's invasive species, whether that's impact of deer, whatever it might be, um, really relying on the science to make decisions about how to care for this place. Well, I, I would just say it's a new uh, Griffey Lake in a way, 50 years old, but we, we've in the future, near future, I think we're going to have a trail that goes all the way around this lake, right? We In the next That's year right. or two, we hope. That's right. So we're, we're standing here on the new accessible fishing pier, which I'll also mention is a great sunset spot if anyone wants a sunset nice. spot nice. in town. Um, people have historically accessed the north side trails by going up this way. Um, and if you went to the south side before, there actually wasn't any official access up onto the hill. So I recommend you come out to Griffey Lake. Check it out. It's newly accessible to all, all, all people here and uh, a wonderful new asset. Uh, 50 years old, uh, we're celebrating that. And Tim, thanks for all of your work that you do with the Parks Department making this place so special. And uh, you can check out the website for more details. Uh, until then, Tim Street and uh, John Hamilton, thanks so much for, for listening.